So we move on to Newbury then now for the Silver Trophy Chase. Now this is a pretty big race, this. And it's a Grade 2 handicap. And we've only got three runners over two miles and five furlongs. This is the first of the really big races. They've only got three runners in this week. Looks at the top for Darren Thompson. That came burn for Marty Liedem and Verglas for Alex Cherry. So let's hope that the three of them put in a decent round of jumping. Otherwise it could be a bit farcical, this. And away they go. Oh, I'm amazed that only three went in for a grade two handicap. So there's no excuse about them not being um, being too high in the handicap to get in. There must have been plenty of horses that were eligible for this. And two mile five is a pretty middling sort of distance. You'd have thought some three milers could have dropped back. Some two and a half has could have popped up a little bit. But only three of them in a grade two. Anyway, they're already over the first. Making their way down towards the second. And Verglas is in the lead. And gets over it with a lead of a length and a half to Akane Byrne in second. And Luxor back in third. We're going to take this the third of the 17. Hang on. It's in downhill then now with Verglas in the lead. By about a length and a half to Akane Byrne second. Luxor is back in third. And that's all we've got. Just the three of them chance for everybody to pick up a little bit of prize money if they stay on their feet. I'm not quite sure what it'll do to their handicap marks though. But, uh, there's only three weeks to go so maybe it's not too bad. You can bag a grade two, it might be worth it. And it's Arcane Burn in the lead, popping over that one in the lead. From Verglas in second and Luxor back in third. As they get over the fifth and they're all safely over that one as well. Verglas a little bit slow. Nothing to be concerned about. Akane Byrne leads by the best part of two lengths. To Verglas, who's got a length up on Luxor. As they make their way towards the next. And they all jump up nicely with Luxor jumping past Verglas. Past the big screen there, take that one, it'll be the last on the next circuit. We are, of course, at Cheltenham now, of course, if you wonder where we are, I momentarily might have suggested we'd gone to Newbury, but we haven't, we've gone to Cheltenham. And Akane Byrne is the clear leader by four to Verglas second and Luxor third. As they race uphill then now, towards the next plain one which they skip over nicely they'll make their way towards the water jump now and that came burn in front from Verglas second and Luxor third and over the water they all go with the order pretty much as it has been throughout Luxor did get past Verglas at one point momentarily but seems happy to be sitting in the catbird seat if you like at the back as they get over the tenth with Akane burn in front Luxor and Verglas chasing Oh, Akane Byrne made a mistake there. That's the first serious mistake anybody's made. And Verglas moves up on his outside. It looks all three lengths back in third. Still, best part of a mile to race. And at this big ditch over that they go, and Verglas jumped into the lead. Looks always a bit untidy at the back. Verglas in front. Akane Byrne just being shook up to keep with Verglas, they get over the next and Akane Byrne jump that one much better than he had done the previous two and the two of them are together now and as they race downhill and swing left handed and head towards the next and Akane Byrne has just got a neck in the lead again Verglas in second if these two start racing each other too and they might just well set it up for Luxor and Luxor is the top weight remember and Akane Byrne is the leader again by two and it's back as you were Akane Byrne that looks like it's kicked on now and he's going to make a break for it early and Akane Byrne skips over the 15th with a clear lead Verglas is in second Luxor is in third Akane Byrne did this at the festival last week and got caught and Akane Byrne has tried it again Akane Byrne has gone on by five to Verglas in second Luxor suddenly caught flat footed or struggling with the weight back in third place they've only got two more fences to take and they're swinging towards home now and Akane Byrne is in the lead by five lengths to Verglas who looks to be going well in second Luxor's trying to run on it's all going to come down to the jumping I think as they get down to 
the final two. This is the second last. Hakeem Byrne jumped it really well. Got away from it well. Verglas is trying to close in second. Forget Luxor. Hakeem Byrne coming down to the final fence. Looking like he might only have to jump it. But he stood off it. And Verglas jumped it much better. And now Verglas swoops. Hakeem Byrne what's it got left. Verglas is trying to close. Hakeem Byrne is battling up the hill. Verglas is trying to get closer. And Verglas is beginning to get closer. And the weight's got to turn. And Verglas the bottom weight takes it. Verglas wins it. Hakeem Byrne second. Luxor third. And the low weight for Verglas proved to be the difference up the hill there. Looks all right out of it, the top weight. Verglas wins it. Oh, Alex Cherry getting a lot of weight off the other two. Akane Byrne was second for Martin Liedemann. Looks all for Darren Thompson was third.